EV drivers and future EV drivers, my name is Olivia and I'm going to show you today how I fast charge my Ionic 5 at EVgo while I am out and about. So I just got off work and I need to run a few errands, but I also need to fast charge my car. So what I'm going to do is pull up the EVgo app and search for charging stations near me that are at shopping centers so I can charge my Ionic 5 while I shop. Now I'm going to show you some awesome features that the EVgo app has. What you're going to do is you're going to select the menu bar on the right side of the screen right here and then it'll display all the filter options. So what you can do is you can add your vehicle at the top and then as you scroll down you can filter based off the connector that your vehicle uses. You can filter based off charging power so you can adjust and go all the way down to 50 kilowatt up to 350 kilowatt. You can input your battery range to see locations within reach and you can also select if you would like to see partner stations near you. Then once you are done, you hit apply and it will filter your search based off what you inputted. What's cool about the EVgo app is that you can search by place or charger name. And what I'm going to do is select the station. You can see that all the chargers are open because they are showing green. If they were in use, they would be showing red. And now I wanna get directions to this location and it'll take you to your Apple Maps and it'll show you the exact directions on how to get to the station. All right, let's go. show you how to fast charge a vehicle. Looking at the charger, you'll see there is a CCS connector and a CHAdeMO connector. Most battery electric vehicles on the road today use the CCS connector, but there are a few exceptions on the road, that, like the Nissan LEAF, that uses the CHAdeMO connector. The Ionic 5 uses the CCS connector, which is this connector right here. What you're going to do is you're going to grab it out of its holder, and you are going to plug it into your charge port. And make sure when you plug it in that you hear a click to confirm that it is locked into place. Now that I'm plugged in and ready to start my charge, I am going to select the connector that I need, which is the CCS connector. I'm going to hit start charge and it is going to communicate with the charger. In order to stop a charge, it is important to remember that the only way to do so is by tapping stop on the screen. Now that your charging session is ended, you're going to remove the connector out of the charge port and return it back to the charger. If you ever find yourself needing assistance or have any charging questions, you can always contact our EVgo charging crew. They are available 24-7 and you can find their phone number on the far right of the screen. Thanks for tagging along with me as I fast charge my Ionic 5 at EVgo. If you're interested in learning more about EVgo and fast charging, visit evgo.com and follow us on our socials at EVgo Network. Tell us in the comments what EV you want to see next. See you next time.